Eating well at a great restaurant is one of life's finest indulgences, uh, whether it's a leave you speechless hawk cuisine or those naughty guilty pleasures. But the good news for cruisers is that you don't have to leave dining choices behind on dry land when you set sail because cruise ships are continually upping the ante with new speciality restaurants that feature international dishes, celebrity chefs, intimate venues, innovative menus and all-round delicious food. Partnerships with such storied chefs as Thomas Keller, Jacques Pepin, Jamie Oliver, Nobu and of course many more on other cruise lines have certainly raised the food bar at sea but even in-house culinary teams are turning out novel cruise ship fare. Look for onboard venues embracing the gastro pub movement or advanced cooking technologies. Now although the main dining room is still a key feature on many ships, it's the rise of the speciality restaurants that attract us to open our intrigued taste buds and crave, of course, those new flavours. Showcasing the best cuisine of Italy, Brazil, Asia and France, to name just a few, a cruise will take you on a culinary journey like never before. And many, but not all, of these dining venues do come at an additional price. But the extra fees are small compared with landside offerings and are very much worth it. And if you're an avid foodie, a couple looking for a romantic splurge or to celebrate a special occasion, or even just someone wishing to indulge on holiday with an especially memorable dinner, you will relish this list Now we have to make a point that we did find this really tough as there are so many different great restaurants for all different kinds of tastes. This is our list we've made up, but if we've missed yours out, then let us know in the comments section below. But before we get into the swing of things, remember to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it to get a notification when we release our new video so you don't miss a thing. It's simple, ding, dong, done. With Italian food being among the most popular regional cuisines across the world, most cruise lines include an Italian bistro among their dining options. However, from the alfresco style setting to the family style dining, Giovanni's Table wins our vote. Featured on many Royal Caribbean ships, its exciting menu is only a teaser of how the food actually tastes. With its apparent Mediterranean influence, Giovanni's Table flaunts a true Italian atmosphere and an intense aroma that one would expect from a restaurant in the heart of Venice. Now starters are brought out family style, enabling you to share everything on the menu if you wish. As expected, there's lots of pasta, although it's more than just pasta. From authentic sauces, fresh seasoning and unique cheeses, these starters only leave you more intrigued for the main courses. Now enjoy fresh prosciutto ham that has been cut with a traditional meat slicer world-class steaks and the freshest local fish. These are just some of the delectable dishes that you can expect, of course, to indulge in. And it's available on Independence of the Seas, Navigator of the Seas, Radiance of the Seas, Serenade of the Seas, Brilliance of the Seas, Jewel of the Seas, Oasis of the Seas, and on each ship you'll be treated to an authentic atmosphere. So are they all on the sea then? I think they are. Yeah. yeah. Our recommendation is if you're uh, eating at Giovanni's, definitely try the Noki. Love this. Now, when Norwegian Cruise Lines introduced the Modano uh, Trulascaria on Norwegian Epic, the positive reviews flew in and everyone was talking about it. And debuting a new dining experience to the cruise industry, this Brazilian steakhouse was the first dining concept of its kind at sea. Now, although the decor is not the most standout design, the food more than makes up for it. And that's what's really, really important. Um, there's an extensive salad bar which invites you to delve into the freshly prepared selection, including tuna and fresh beans and European cured meat and artisan cheeses. However, be careful as this is a meal in itself and you certainly don't want to fill yourself up too quickly. Be prepared to feast on the largest selections of meat you've ever seen in one restaurant at the same time. Mm. From a range of different beef, chicken, pork, sausage, chorizo and lamb, it's pure haven for meat eating foodies. With everything being sliced before your very eyes, it's a wonder that you even thought about dessert. But if you have room, you're in for a brilliant surprise. The signature dessert of crispy fried Portuguese sweet bread puffs with caramel and vanilla is the icing on the cake for this wonderful dining experience. Okay, moving on to one of my personal favourites. This is Cuisine on Celebrity Cruises. Now, where to start with this restaurant? It's like nothing else you'll ever experience on land, let alone at sea. And this unique dining journey starts from the moment you order your meal on an iPad. There can be no preconceptions about cuisine as it is a restaurant of the unexpected. Mm -hmm. After you've used the interactive iPads to design your meal, sit back and wait to be tantalised by unexpected twists on familiar favourites. From the revolutionary sushi lollipops, 
popcorn fish and chips, the lobster escargot. It has an offbeat edge to give you the experience that you can only find on a celebrity cruise ship. Cuisine's decor is fairly simple and boasts a, a more casual feel. So decked out in orange and yellows, it's bright, design portraits, a, a happy atmosphere and is great for a fun meal time with friends and family. Mm -hmm. now, so to be precise, you can find cuisine on uh, the eclipse, the reflection, the silhouette, the infinity, the millennium and the summit. Every city, shopping mall and airport has the latest take on an Asian sushi restaurant. And it didn't take long for the cruise ships to jump on the bandwagon either. However, Kai Sushi onboard Princess Cruises stood out for us. From the moment you step inside, you are transported to an Asian paradise with deep brown decor combined with bamboo accessories. Its large open cooking area showcases highly regarded chefs preferring authentic sushi creations and traditional Japanese seafood dishes. Now, if you don't have a love for sushi, don't panic because there's also delicious lobster, octopus and other seafood dishes cooked in a traditional Japanese and Southeast Asian manner. Kai Sushi is available on both the Diamond Princess and the Sun Princess and offers a majestic and authentic atmosphere for you to experience. This again is a for feed dining experience, though the prices range and what we call the, you know, the value for money is undeniably excellent. Our recommendation though is the Kaisen Udon. Easy for you to say. I know. A mixture of lobster, jumbo shrimp, scallops, snapper, calamari and noodles in a rich broth. It's mwah, delicious. Now, one of our personal favourites, and we have to say, it's one of the, the we think, the top restaurants at sea, is mm. Red Ginger on Oceania Cruises. Now, at the helm is Master Chef Jacques Papin, former personal chef to three French heads of state, including Charles de Gaulle. The Feng Shui-inspired decor, which includes a soothing waterfall and modern Asian artwork, sets the stage for a memorable Asian fusion meal, and better still, it's included in the price of your cruise with Oceania. Oceania's Red Ginger offers contemporary interpretations of Asian classics such as Tom Kai Gai Soup, Lobster Pad Thai and Miso Glazed Sea Bass. Start with sushi, summer rolls or crispy calamari and finish with green tea ice cream. And of course this all adds to the experience with extensive tea, wine and sake added to the menu. Red Ginger is at the home on Marina, Serena and Riviera and our recommendation here is the miso glazed sea bass. Yeah, it literally melts in your mouth. Now, Cunard's Veranda restaurant pays homage to the exclusive Veranda grills found on the original Queen Elizabeth and Queen Mary. And a the meal there will upgrade any cruise into a luxury one, at least until the last crumb of dessert has been devoured. The dishes represent France's traditional and contemporary cuisine with options from various regions such as the Pyrenees, Alsace, Burgundy and many, many more. Now, the menus on each of the ships do vary slightly and may change over time to keep guests, of course, wanting more. But the veranda is currently available on all three queens uh, and if you're a hospitality crackerjack then this is a must visit. Cunard really does offer the whole package and our recommendation if you do dine there is to go for the sea scallops. Now moving on to Manfredi's which is Viking Ocean Cruises' signature restaurant and this is new to the market as they've only been around since 2015. Now this is the brainchild of two very very talented executive chefs who have created a dining venue that serves the favourite childhood dishes of Viking CEO Torsten Hagen. Even with just one menu at Manfredi's, it's rich enough with options that you could visit numerous times and never run out of new dishes to try. For mains, uh, a melange of fish and meat options, uh, the Bischetta Florentine, the Veal Scalapini and the Osso Buco are real standouts. For dessert, the tiramisu is, as expected, a cornerstone offering, but the Nutella Panna Cotta is an absolute winner. I was actually on a Viking ship a couple of weeks ago and it's some of the best food I've ever tasted at sea. Now you can find Manfredi's across the entire Viking Ocean fleet and what makes this already incredible experience even more special is that there is no surcharge at all, it's inclusive dining. Just make sure you reserve a table in advance, as you can imagine it books up quickly. Uh, created and served by Regent's own culinary team, Prime 7 epitomises a classic steakhouse. Um, and with its uh, USA prime beef, it's all been dry aged at at least 28 days. Now, while meat lovers may have to pay hefty surcharges for this kind of fare on other lines, Regent's best beef is, wait for it, complimentary. You heard me right, complimentary. And like any steakhouse, the menu features steaks and seafood. We recommend the foie gras slider, 
iTuna, an avocado tower, and the steak tartare starters. Now, huge entrees like prime porterhouse, carved table side, whole main lobster or surf and turf with your choice of lobster tail or Alaskan king crab legs will leave you absolutely stuffed. For dessert, treat yourself to a Regent Seven Seas Decadent Molten Chocolate Cake or a chamomile popcorn sundae. The great thing is, is that Prime 7 is also available for the indulgence fleet wide. If you disagree, you know, or if you agree, we think we left something out, please do comment uh, and get, get involved in the discussion and share this with your friends and family to see what they think as well, because we know that cruisers all have their favourites. That's exactly. the important thing. Um, thank you very, very much for watching and uh, we'll see you again very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers, guys. Hi everyone, thanks very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe below and remember to click the bell to get those notifications turned on. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel content like this, then click on the videos to the right, it will be really, really informative. Or you can click on the Planet logo to the left and go to our website for some really fantastic goods. Thanks for watching.